Inspector's coming today, guys. Super excited, but a little nervous. Are we going to pass? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the off-grid homesteading vlog where we are building our off-grid cabin. We're currently putting in the plumbing for the cabin and we have an inspection scheduled for today. Let me show you what we've got right here. We've got inch and a quarter poly with the blue tracer wire right down in this trench. The trench is about two feet deep, but we're gonna backfill um, from here out and then slope it down like that. So the pipe is actually gonna be almost five feet underground here. We've got our sewer line here. We actually had to cut it and cap it here for the inspection, but um, sewer line comes up here, comes up to a clean out right here, and then goes into the house. The poly line actually runs underneath the sewer line. You can see right here, comes underneath the sewer line, and then goes underneath the footer for the house. There is a lot of rebar in that foundation. We put in way extra rebar. And so just digging under that little spot, not a big deal. Let's cruise up here. I'll show you what we got going on up here. The inspector is coming today. So we've got kitchen sink right here. We just capped off the vents. Then we've got the bathroom over here, right? Where we've got um, shower tub P-trap vent for that, toilet vent, toilet flange, and then the vanity right here. We've got the, um, what is this thing called? This is for the washing machine, right? So we've got that P-trap, all that clean out capped. And then we've got the black poly coming up here like that. If you haven't been following along or you don't know really what I'm talking about, let me show you downstairs several videos we've got of us actually plumbing all of this in right here. So what we've got is, this is three inch ABS. It goes up and goes out through the rim joist for the clean out. Then you've got, of course, the shower, toilet, vanity, laundry. This is the poly pipe coming up and going into the wall. And then over here, we've got the kitchen sink and at 90s and goes out through the wall. So, inspector's coming today, guys. Super excited, but a little nervous. Are we going to pass? Poll. There's a poll right up here, guys. Are we gonna pass the inspection or not? Yes or no, right there. You guys take your guess and we'll see when he gets here. While we're waiting for the inspector, I've been cleaning up the tool shed. Guys, you could not even see the floor in here, man. It was so dirty. It's like every time we do a project, tools just get piled in here on the floor because, well, Jules and the kids don't know where the tools go. So they put them on the floor so I can put them away later but then I never get around to putting them away. Well, we'll get this thing cleaned up here. Check this out, little sneak peek. Check out this, guys. This is gonna be a future video right here. Ooh, cell phone booster, hi boost. We're gonna give it a test, coming up in a future video. Guys, the inspector is here now. Let's go see if we pass. Up here, so it'll be a, uh, a loft up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want me to grab a flashlight? Uh, I can see enough. Okay. Well, you said it's all good down there, guys. Woohoo! That's awesome. Yeah. And then supply lines or something for the water coming into the house. Uh oh. Yeah. Um can I like I was thinking of doing a manifold system for the with the PEX. Mm -hmm. And can I make a recessed box so that, that manifold's inside the ball valve and go here? 
Okay. Is this? Is there any like on how tall off the floor it needs to be or anything? Uh, I usually keep a transition down in the crawl space from poly to pex. Oh, okay. Are you guys already? You guys already doing this test then? Yeah, it's already. You already looked at it. Oh, okay. Still on five. How long was that supposed to be out by for? Uh, 15 minutes. Where is it, Tux? Where is it? What you got? Got a special toy. Oh, really? Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Are they supposed to go into the crawl space or into the wall up here? Either or. Either okay. they can go into the crawl space or they can have it in the wall there. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can outside the wall. Okay. Great. Yeah. It kind of makes it a little interesting to roll the cabinet down on. But yeah, I'm sure. So does that need to stay on there forever, or? Uh, oh, in case. Yeah. I mean, it'll okay. be in the computer. We watched here. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Aladdin, huh? Aladdin. Yeah. Check it out, guys. Bam. Approved. Guys, we passed the inspection. Ha-ha. <laughs> all right, so that's great. We get to backfill all of this. Hopefully tomorrow, we're going to backfill all the way around the house. Grady was the inspector, super nice guy, super helpful. Um, we actually did something a little bit more than we really needed to. You see that blue tracer wire down there? That is important and you need to have that there. But we did not need this green tracer wire here. That was extra. You need that for some sewer stuff. He was saying basically if you're doing a pump system where you have to pump water somewhere and I don't know, but he said if you can run a snake down the pipe, you don't need a tracer wire. And then as we were up here, I asked him a lot of questions about how to do things for the next step. All right, so I was asking him about, I was asking him about my plans for how to do the venting here, run it up and across and then up, basically up by the peak of the roof. No problem with that. Tell me that's cool. Um, what other tips did he give? Oh yeah, right here. So here, he did say that um, these blue fittings are not allowed in the house. Not a problem, didn't fail us for that or anything, but later when we hook it up, that's gotta be, that's gotta be gone. You gotta use brass or steel fittings. Let's see what else. This black pipe, he said, normally people transition to pecs down below the floor in the crawl space. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Down here in the crawl space. You said everything is good. Um, one thing though is we need to add more strapping to it. This, this line needs to be supported every four feet. But again, we didn't fail us for that. The pecs, horizontal runs on pecs need to be supported every 36 inches. The ABS, horizontal runs need to be supported every four feet, he said. I was planning on actually running all of the pecs through the walls above the floor but he said that everybody up here basically just runs it in the crawl space. Just drill through the joists if you have to and insulate it up there and you're good to go. So I think that's what we're going to do. That's going to be way easier than running it through the walls. So our floor joists run this way. So that's not even going to be an issue. We'll just drill through that beam, a couple holes. Not a big deal. Small holes, you know, just for the water lines. So awesome. He was a really cool guy and very helpful. He said, oh, he did say that my picture that I sent him, which you saw in previous videos, he said he knew exactly what we were doing from that picture. So that was really cool. Looking forward to getting this bad boy backfilled and the trusses are coming next week. You want to see more about what's going on in our homestead? There is a video right over there you might want to check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you right over there in that video in just a second.